be an owner of Clark Key with just $1,000? Hi, I'm Frankie. Welcome back to my fuck show. Would you like to buy a piece of Clark Key for just $1,000 and collect rental every month? You can do that using REIT. Today, let's talk about REIT and the best market to own REITs. REITs are funds that invest in a portfolio of real estate with the aim to generate income for their investors. For example, Clark Key is part of Capital Integrated Commercial Trust portfolio alongside 25 other properties worth a total of 24 billion sing spreading across Singapore, Australia and Germany. In other words, when you buy that particular REIT, you are the proud owner of Clark Key. Imagine next time you go there with your friends and you can proudly show off to your friends that you own Clark Key. In the past, the only way to own a property was to directly buy the asset off from either the developer or the previous owner of the property. And it could be very expensive. On top of that, the process can be lengthy and tedious, especially if you're not familiar with the local regulations. Buying the property is just the first hurdle. Managing a bunch of properties like this is even a bigger headache. But through REITs, a team of professional property managers will help you to manage the properties, upkeep and provide maintenance to make sure they are always in the top-notch condition and renting it out to the right tenants. All this will directly increase the property value. So how REITs work, it pulls investors' fund together to amplify the financial capability to acquire ultra-high value properties for the purpose of rental income. At the end of the day, most income generated will be repaid back to investors according to their respective shareholding in the REIT. In Malaysia and Singapore, the REITs usually pay out at least 90% of their income because by doing so, they are exempted from paying corporate tax. Tax-free income where? Where to find? There are two things to consider when it comes to investing in REITs. The market's liquidity and the sustainability of high income yield. And this is where Singapore performs exceptionally well when it comes to REIT. You can probably say that Singapore is probably one of the most sought after REIT market in the world as it has a track record of providing over 5% dividend yield on average to their investors. Imagine if you got $1 million in REITs and you can get $50,000 income every single year. There are 43 REITs listed on SGX with a total market cap of $100 billion, making them the largest REIT market in Asia x Japan. To give you some context, that is about 13% of the entire SGX market cap, making it one of the very important sectors for Singapore. In this small city nation, land is a scarce resource, making every inch of it highly valuable. In the beginning of the s rate development, companies were focusing on providing a specific team on their respective portfolios to attract investors. Today, all 43 of them have defined the REIT market into seven categories for investors to choose from. We all know that Singapore is a shopping haven and it attracts many multinational companies to set up offices in the country as a gateway to other parts of Asia. Naturally, these two segments become the highest new REITs compared to others. Apart from that, Singapore is strategically located geographically and that attracted many logistic companies to set up warehouses in the country. Therefore, it is not surprising to see industrial REITs to be one of the top yielding ones as well. But as mentioned, Singapore is a small country with limited real estate. So often, as REIT have to turn to real estates in foreign country to grow its business, such as Capital Land Integrated Commercial Trust that include properties in Australia and Germany. Many of the S REITs are looking at acquiring overseas properties to drive value in their portfolio. As long as the targeted assets fit into the mandates of the REIT and if there's enough funding, chances are they will go for it. There are also S REITs that focus entirely on overseas properties as well, such as Manulife US REIT. So, if Asian properties are not your cup of tea, you have many choices in Singapore REIT market. However, do remember those REITs can be a little bit tricky if you are not familiar with the overseas market conditions that S REITs are operating in. When COVID hit Singapore, 
Their rates took a beating and many thought that S rates will not go back to its pre-COVID glorious days with expats leaving and the hybrid working culture. But shortly after the country reopens, we saw the S rates index bounce back quickly and the trend is seeing no signs of slowing down. I just came back from Singapore recently and it was surprising for me to see not only businesses returning to Singapore, some of the rentals there have already surpassed pre-COVID levels with so many expats and students looking for a place to stay. No wonder the IHS rate index managed to return to its average within such a short period of time. Seems like the COVID has become an opportunity for S rates managers to acquire more assets at an undervalued price during this volatile period. Just look at the property acquisition activities that have been recorded so far this year. Some of the S rates managed to acquire assets below their appraised value. Some Something that is hard to happen during the good times. With such acquisitions, these REITs could bring a lot of value to their investors in the long run. However, the risk is that they need to manage their current debt level to sustain a potential recession and rising interest rates. Therefore, some investors are saying that REIT investment during an increasing interest rate environment is not a good timing. For me, it's more about the income received from the investment and the consistency. There could be other alternatives to weather through this volatile period. To look for other investment opportunities during this post-COVID-19 period, on the 30th of July 2022, Philip Capital is organizing its 12th investment conference 2022. It features over 20 industry experts from renowned fund management firms to share their views on different sectors in the market. It is an empowering event to help you to make the best investment decision ahead. Not to forget, if you need accreditation points, you will earn 10 SIDC CPE, 5 FPAM CE, 8 FIMM CPD and 8 MFPC CPD points as well after you attend the event. This is a hybrid event so you can choose either to attend physically or virtually. Oh yeah, there's also a lucky draw during the event so you may also stand a chance to win a mystery gift. So hurry up, use our code when you sign up to get an exclusive deal. Check out the link in the description below. Anyways, in Singapore, where interest rates are generally low, the ability for S rates to generate generate 4 to 6% return makes it a truly attractive option for investors. On top of that, whether good times or bad times, because land is scarce in Singapore, property prices are very resilient with a clear upward trend over many many years. So what do you think of S rates? Or which is your favourite S rates? Tell us in the comments below. That's all we have for today. Hashtag fuck.